this message to you Remember always to wash your hands Social distancing, wear your mask Remember always to sanitize And most of all stay home Good afternoon and welcome to Dynalab Zambia. My name is Christabel Munga. Today we are discussing autoimmune diseases. And to help me discuss this topic this afternoon, I have Madame Dora Molobeka. Welcome to the program, Madame Dora. Hi, Christabel. It's good to be here. Okay. All right. Today we are discussing autoimmune diseases. Yes. What are these? Okay. Diseases? I think. Um, I think the last time we were here, we were talking about diabetes and mm -hmm. the effects, um, the side effects, what it is, and we had a lot of people calling in and uh, sending messages even after the show. Mm -hmm. And some of the conditions that came up are actually classified to be autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. You know, the body has a defense system inside. Yes. It's a very complex machine. So it has a defense uh, system called the immune system. Mm -hmm. Now, an autoimmune condition is when the immune system or the body begins to attack itself, okay. causing a number of different things to go wrong inside of the body. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are the most uh, common autoimmune diseases? Okay, so when we talk about autoimmune conditions and the body attacking itself, mm -hmm. there are a number of common um, conditions or chronic diseases mm -hmm. that pop to mind or that people might be suffering from. Um, they might even not know that it's actually an autoimmune disease. So the most common one being rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. What's that? Okay, so rheumatoid <laughs> arthritis is basically a chronic inflammatory condition that affects the bones. Okay. Usually um, it's found in the elderly. You know, if you have a grandmother, a grandfather, uh -huh. they'll tell you, ah, I'm a spider or I'm um, feeling joints. Yes. yes. Okay. Usually that is a form of arthritis, mm -hmm. okay, uh, which becomes an autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. Then we also have diabetes type 1, mm -hmm. which we spoke about last week. Um, diabetes type 1 is basically a situation where the body or the pancreas is not able to produce insulin or is not producing enough insulin and therefore um, the body is not able to break down the glucose or the sugar in the body. Okay. Then we have one that you might be familiar with, which is a skin condition called vitiligo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one I'm sure you've seen some people who have certain patches yes. that are lighter than the rest of their skin complexion. Mm -hmm. So that is also an autoimmune condition. Mm -hmm. All right, um, then we'll just mention two more real quick. There's a form of anemia. Okay, mm -hmm. usually when we talk about anemia, it's the women that we think about. Yes. Okay, because of what goes on mm -hmm. during the monthly cycle and maybe they're not eating properly or they're losing a lot of blood. But you know that also certain men can suffer from um, anemia. Okay. Okay, and usually when a man has anemia, it's an autoimmune condition mm -hmm. where it's caused by a malfunction of the immune system or the body is attacking itself. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have a certain type of gastritis. So you see that autoimmune conditions can come at but any part of the body. Mm -hmm. So it's either your bones, or it's going to attack your skin, or it's going to attack your digestive system, or it's going to attack your blood cells. So basically what it is, the body attacks itself and s starts attacking certain tissues as well as the cells in the body. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is there any other way that you can get this immune condition uh, other than... An autoimmune condition. Autoimmune okay. condition other than the body attacking itself? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, it's not something that you're going to pick up from somebody. It's not contagious, uh, usually not hereditary, unless in very, very rare situations or very rare um, diseases like Lopez disease. Mm -hmm. But an autoimmune disease basically comes about when the body senses danger. Okay. Okay. So usually when the body senses danger, the immune system being the defense force mm -hmm. that is inside the body goes into attack. Okay. okay, so this is considered to be an immune response. Mm -hmm. So while the body is attacking, okay, certain there's what we call collateral damage of certain cells and tissue. Mm -hmm. So those cells and the tissues are the ones that end up um, depriving the body of the proper function and causing um, a malfunction of the body, causing this autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. okay. So can someone be cured if they have this autoimmune disease? Usually an autoimmune disease or condition um, is chronic, okay, mm -hmm. meaning it's long term. Okay. And um, most of them do not have cure. All right. Mm. But a person can um, 
look after themselves, okay, do certain things so that um, their body is able to balance out a little bit, mm -hmm. okay, and they're able to have a normal active life. Okay. Like we've said for things like arthritis. Mm -hmm. This one attacks the bones of the joints, mm -hmm. okay? And it can be very, very painful. Some people cannot even grip their arms together. Yes. Even walking can be quite a challenge. So if a person um, is taking care of themselves in a certain way by reducing inflammation inside of the body, then mm -hmm. they're not going to be able to have all those symptoms that can disturb their day-to-day -day life. Okay. Okay, let's engage our viewers because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people now who are suffering from yes. especially the joint pains mm -hmm. and uh, all that. So they can text us on 0960 mm -hmm. Text us in order for you to know, ask questions so that you can be answered concerning the uh, autoimmune diseases that we are talking about in the studio. Yes, yes uh, are there any types of food that someone can take in order to prevent mm -hmm. or maybe if they have already yes. in order for them to protect themselves of course there's certain types of food that act as triggers mm -hmm. okay um, like we said it is the immune system now trying to protect you against bacteria protect you against viruses protect you against inflammation mm -hmm. um, that can only happen to a certain degree but you need to help yourself so that you protect your cells mm -hmm. and the cells and tissues are healthy enough so that they don't get damaged during that um, immune defense system mm -hmm. um, or whatever is happening with your immune system at that particular time. So the things that are going to weaken your immune system, okay, these include things like the red meat. Okay. Okay. I know we're always talking about red meat. So I'm sure people are thinking, <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat red meat. I eat it, but of course in moderation. Okay. Things like alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is really going to suppress your immune system. All right. So you need to avoid those. Sugar, too much sugar in the system. It's going to cause um, your immune system to be compromised. And these are the foods that these we take every day. These are the foods that day. we take every day because we think this is the good life. Mm -hmm. I know now we're going to the festive season and people are then, looking forward yes. to the whole of December. They're and busy be, preparing. Of course, they're busy preparing the chickens. They've already ordered chickens. <laughs> they've already ordered half a cow. Uh -huh. They've already ordered their crates of alcohol and all of that. But if you're a person who is suffering from any of the things that we've mentioned, like the arthritis, type 1 diabetes, any skin condition, um, a form of gastritis or any form of anemia that we have mentioned you need to avoid those mm -hmm. as well as certain what we call nightshade vegetables like the tomatoes mm -hmm. okay they can be a trigger factor you need to avoid things like potatoes okay because um, I'm sure you've seen there's certain people who have things like gastritis yes and their diet is very very restricted because mm -hmm. you, you tell somebody no, 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 no. Or you find someone tells you, I can't eat tomatoes in my food because it's going to cause acidity. Mm -hmm. Or I can't eat uh, potatoes. Or I can't eat this. Or, you know, I'm lactose intolerant. And you're thinking, what is going on with this person? <laughs> <laughs> because these are normal things that we're eating on a daily basis, yes. but their body system cannot handle it because of that autoimmune condition. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, there are things that you can eat that can help to promote and boost your immune system. Okay, okay. what are those? Um, of course, we always say the dark leafy green vegetables. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, if you're going to eat meat, try and get good quality lean meat. Okay. okay, or stick to your white meat for the meantime. So that's the chicken, that's the fish, uh, maybe goat, a bit of pork, and so on. If you do eat pork, mm -hmm. so, as opposed to you eating red meat. red meat, you know, processed foods, taking too much alcohol, because that will help you to minimize the signs and symptoms of your autoimmune disease. Okay, mm -hmm. now can a lot of people nowadays are stressed. So of can course. stress and anxiety trigger these autoimmune diseases? Do you know in the Western world, our friends are very in tune with that. Mm -hmm. You know that because stress can actually give you physical symptoms of illness. Mm -hmm. But here we're very relaxed about it um, because we're thinking there's no way you can, be, you can tell me you're sick because of stress. You know, learn to deal with it. But stress can actually wear you down. It can wear your immune system down. Okay? Mm -hmm. It can make you lose. That's why you find when somebody's stressed, some people lose weight. Others gain weight. Mm -hmm. okay? That is the body's way of you know, trying to fight off something. All right? mm -hmm. Others fail to sleep. Others sleep too much. 
okay and then some people just can't function because of the stress factors mm -hmm. so it's very important for us to minimize the stress and anxiety that we're going through so that we don't find ourselves in a situation where we're triggering and those factors do not just trigger autoimmune diseases they can actually trigger other conditions in the body as well mm -hmm. for example high blood pressure a diabetes as well, uh, infertility you know if you're stressed it can be very difficult for you to conceive as mm -hmm. well so we really need to keep a check of our stress levels so that we don't find ourselves running into problems okay our viewers there keep texting on zero nine six zero six one zero one nine seven zero nine six zero six one zero one nine seven text us so that you can ask questions concerning maybe you might have one of the conditions that we are talking about today for now I think we'll take a very short break we'll be right back We bring this message to you. We bring this message to you. Remember always to wash your hands. Social distancing, wear your mask. Remember always to sanitize. And most of all, stay home. Coronavirus. We are gonna love us saying Follow all the guidelines. At Dyna Lab, we have immune boosters in this time of COVID-19. You can improve the quality of your immune system with our wide range of immune boosters. At Dyna Lab, your health is our priority. For more info, you can call us on 211-232377 or 0968-632106. Dyna Lab, we bring this message to you. Dynafarm, the center of excellence in health and wealth. All right, welcome back. Uh, please keep texting on 0960-610-197. 0960-610-197. We are discussing uh, autoimmune diseases, and we've heard that these diseases, yeah, they are diseases like diabetes, they are diseases like high blood pressure, and also arthritis. And also, we know that we have to boost our immune system in order for us to prevent these other diseases. And there are foods that also we have to eat in order for us to take care of our bodies and also to take care of this condition, if at all we have. And if my immune system is mm -hmm. low, how do I reset it in order for me to fight these autoimmune diseases? Okay, so every part of the body will function better when you are not being attacked, mm -hmm. okay? So um, you need to just make sure that you're taking precautions, okay? Reset your immune system, reset your body system. Mm -hmm. Now people always ask to say, how do I reset when I'm in this situation yes. already? And I think this is the best, perfect time to actually begin to reset your body system, not just your immune system. As like I said, we're going towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, and as we're going the next few shows, as we're preparing for the festive season, we'll talk about a few things that you the do's and don'ts, <laughs> so that we don't yes. have too many challenges mm -hmm. um, come January. But for you to just uh, protect or boost your immune system, there are certain supplements that you can take. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Dynalab has a wide range of immune boosters that can be taken, okay. as well as anti-inflammatories. Mm -hmm. um, now, it's very possible for you to boost your immune system naturally, but you know what happens? Because we've been exposing our bodies to so many things, mm -hmm. okay, it makes it very difficult. Here in Zambia, we're surrounded by very rich foods that we can take that are perfect mm -hmm. and excellent at boosting our immunity. I mean, we have all these grains like the millet and we have the cassava, you know, we have the sorghum that can be eaten, which are good... Um, carbohydrates then we have the rondways now mm -hmm. in the rain season we have the chihuahuas you know we have the calambulas all those are excellent foods but then the problem is our bodies have become dumping grounds for so many bad things mm -hmm. so even if we're taking um, good quality foods we find that our digestive system is actually blocked 
mm -hmm. okay? Because we're taking all these wrong things and therefore we're not getting the benefit from the good foods that we're taking. Mm -hmm. That's where an immune supplement comes in. Okay. Okay, so obviously you would have to cleanse a little bit to open up your cells, mm -hmm. okay, which we have as Dynalab. Then we have immune boosters that can be taken. We have things like mangosteen, okay. Mangosteen is a product that comprises of 48 different vitamins and minerals, mm -hmm. okay. So we call it mangosteen juice, but you don't dilute it. It's just something that you take uh, in 30 mils once or twice a day, and that will help you along the way. I know there are certain people who don't like taking medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I must be very clear to say Dynalab, we don't sell medicine, we sell supplements. Okay. Okay, so we sell products that you're not going to be able to get from your normal everyday life. Mm -hmm. Okay, either because maybe your digestive system or absorption levels have been blocked, or maybe you're not eating the right types of food. So we have that. Then we have the soya bean powder, mm -hmm. okay, which is an also a fantastic a nutritional supplement plus immune boosters. Um, we have things like Ganoderma that we have in our co most of our caffeine free coffees mm -hmm. i know people say um, caffeine is not good okay yeah that's but what it's i actually know it's very so. good for the diet if you're taking the right type of coffee mm -hmm. and at dynalab we have what we call our power coffees that you can take for either high blood pressure for diabetes mm -hmm. um, for balancing of hormones or for boosting your immune system okay okay and these are caffeine free coffees so they're not going to affect you even if you are hypertensive mm -hmm. okay and some of them do not contain sugar so they're perfectly diabetic friendly mm -hmm. and then we also have things that can be taken by the children as well in case a child is suffering from an autoimmune condition and you're looking for that mm -hmm. um, for people who have skin conditions like vertiligo or psoriasis we have um, a cosmetic range of products that can actually be applied outside that can help to begin to heal the skin so okay. that it is not so prominent so we have number of products that can be taken as Dynalab from somebody who is suffering from an autoimmune disease. Okay, I've seen a lot of people with this same um, skin problem. Mm -hmm. So if it has been worse, yeah. can someone start applying the same uh, products from Dynalab and the skin start getting better? Yes, of course. Of course, we're not just going to give you something to apply outside. We're also going to deal with the root cause of the problem mm -hmm. internally as well. So we have what we call... Um, collective therapy that you take to cure whatever condition so you might find uh, you come to us and we tell you oh okay so you have a uh, vertiligo mm -hmm. and we give you a cleanser and you might be thinking but what has that got to do with <laughs> my skin problem <laughs> but then you need to cleanse your system in mm -hmm. order for you to absorb the rest of the products that we're giving you okay yeah. so yeah concerning these autoimmune diseases mm -hmm. are there products or maybe any help that someone can find yes. at Dynamo? Lab. Yes, of course. Like I just mentioned, we have a wide range of immune boosters, mm -hmm. like the mangosteen, um, like the Ganoderma. We have the Jinko Ginseng. We have a spirulina powder, as well as an anti-inflammatory by the name that we call sea cucumber, which is very good for people who might be having things like the arthritis mm -hmm. or any kind of gastric um, in balance of the system as well as uh, products like we mentioned last time for somebody who might be suffering from maybe type 1 diabetes and their body is not producing um, effective insulin so as Dynalab we really do have um, the solution or the help that we can give so that you're able to um, maintain your symptoms because as we've seen or we've said that an autoimmune disease is actually a chronic condition mm -hmm. that can be there for the long term so we have products that you can take that can help you live a normal everyday life okay mm -hmm. yes we can now uh, pick uh, these text messages yes. we have a viewer who says uh, good afternoon madam what is the treatment for gastritis omeprazole and magnesium have been tried for many years mm -hmm. yet no change and that has been rankled mm -hmm. too but no change mrs tembo from Kabwe. No, thank you very much, Mrs. Tembo. It's good to know that you're following the show all the way from Kawe. Um, I'd advise you to actually visit our Kawe shop, which is along um, Lusaka Road, where you'll be able to find the supplements that you require. Now, gastritis, as we mentioned, can be one of the autoimmune conditions, depending on the source of it. Mm -hmm. um, it is actually a digestive disorder where the body produces too much acidity mm -hmm. in the body. So people with gastritis usually struggle to get the right diet. Okay because you find that a number of different things trigger them mm -hmm. okay so if you've been advised on your diet 
I would advise you to cut back on your red meat. Okay. Okay. Um, cut back on things like tomatoes and things that are quite acidic. Mm -hmm. All right. I always say something which is quite controversial when it comes to gastritis because I always advise people when they wake up in the morning to take a warm glass of water with a few drops of lemon. Mm. Now, this is controversial in the sense that people think that lemon is acidic, mm -hmm. okay? But what we consider acidic, we weigh upon what happens during digestion. Mm -hmm. So lemon is actually a very alkalizing um, fruit that you can take. But of course, uh, take it with a pinch of salt. Don't say I said. <laughs> Try it if it works for you because okay. it's worked for a lot of different people, uh -huh. okay? Then there are fruits that are quite uh, soothing like the banana. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I know people with gastritis, the very minimal fruits that they can take. Mm -hmm. So I know you can take your banana, you can take your watermelon. Now we're going into the mango season. Wait until the mango is completely ripe. Okay. Okay, because that acid is actually going to affect you. Mm -hmm. And this goes for a number of other people who might have other conditions. Um, parents who have children who might be suffering from tonsillitis mm -hmm. or anything like that. Just wait until the fruit is completely ripe. So that that remaining acidity does not affect the body in any way. Okay. So for gastritis, we have the sea cucumber jelly that you can take. We have a probiotic, which will help to balance out the digestive flora or inside of your gut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we have good bacteria inside the body that helps us to digest our, our food. But the problem comes when now that good bacteria is surpassed by the bad bacteria. Mm -hmm. And that is what normally happens um, in cases of a digestive disorder. So we have products for you. Like you said, during Kawe, please feel free. Go and visit our cover shop they will welcome you and they'll be able to give you the help that you need okay all right uh, another one says uh, could perpetual dizziness and this and continued low blood levels are signs of autoimmune diseases this is Noel um, that uh, hello Noel it's good to know that you're listening in and uh, watching us we would have like to know where you're watching us from <laughs> so that we see um, how far across the country we're going mm -hmm. so dizziness and low HB or low homoglobin or low blood as he has put it mm -hmm. can be caused by a number of different things it'll be interesting to know if it's him who's suffering from that or maybe it is somebody else that he knows the mm -hmm. only way you can really find out the actual cause of your low blood levels as well as your dizziness uh, is to go and visit a healthcare provider mm -hmm. because that can be a sign and symptom of so many different things okay okay so it would be very unfair for us to just pinpoint and say okay it's because of anemia it can be caused by um low blood pressure it can be caused by you know something going on with the kidneys or something going on with the heart so the best thing to do is to actually just go and find out from your doctor if your um, low blood pressure is because of iron deficiency or because of something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, here the other one says, uh, hello, enjoying the program. Mm -hmm. What causes someone to just feel very itchy and develop blisters which are itchy on the left butt? They appear and reappear, especially when about to menstruate. So how can one stop experiencing such? Okay, uh, thank you very much. I wish you'd given us your name so that we know who we're actually speaking to. Mm -hmm. um, but that sounds like it could be a premenstrual or hormonal problem that's going on, especially since you're experiencing that just before you get your period or your menses. Okay, so um, there is what we call a premenstrual syndrome. Mm -hmm that most women experience just before they attend their monthly menses, okay? okay. So certain people might experience um, itchiness of the skin, mm -hmm. okay? Others might experience mood swings, others might experience cravings, mm -hmm. okay? Others might uh, actually experience soreness of the breasts as well. So for me, I suspect that you might be going through a hormonal imbalance. So nothing wrong with that? Not necessarily, but we can't rule it out. Okay. okay? Um, I always advise people to say, don't sit and wait for your symptoms to get worse. Mm -hmm. Don't put it to say, no, because this happens every month, so it must be a normal thing. Mm -hmm. If it is something that you've noticed that has not been there and it's occurring and disturbing you, you really need to go and visit a doctor mm -hmm. or maybe come through to the lab and get a full consultation so that we can see how to help you. But from what she's just mentioned, I suspect it's just a hormonal imbalance. 
ailments okay. and uh, we have some products that can help with that mm -hmm. as well as the itchiness itself that she might be experiencing all right uh, what a medi medicine can i take for psoriasis i hope i've pronounced psoriasis yeah psoriasis <laughs> this is barbara from bala okay uh, no it's good to know that you're tuned in all the way in bala mm -hmm. uh, we have some products that you can take for psoriasis at dynalab we have a cleanser okay and then we also have something that you can apply tropically or outside mm -hmm. to help with that. Like I mentioned, psoriasis, vertigo are all autoimmune conditions that attack the, the skin. So we do have some products that you can take from Dynalab. Okay. okay. Someone here is saying, good afternoon, madam. How are you doing? How much is the medicine for sugar? <laughs> good afternoon <laughs> to you too. Thank you to know that you're tuned in. Um, what I will do, I will specifically reply to your text message at the end of the show mm -hmm. where I can give you a list of the products that you can take for diabetes, okay, and the costing and where you can find them depending on which part of the country you are. Okay. And someone would like to you to recommend uh, someone with lung problem. Okay. So, um, lung condition or a lung problem can be caused by a number of different factors as well okay mm -hmm. so it could be maybe a person has suffered from chronic bronchitis or asthma or maybe the lungs has some kind of scarring and right now that's actually become quite common because of the covid wave that we're still passing through mm -hmm. um, there's some scarring that usually happens on the tissues when somebody goes through covid mm -hmm. especially if they've got a chronic cough so we have some products that can be taken including an anti-inflammatory we also have something called dynatonic mm -hmm. Um, that can be taken, which is excellent for the respiratory system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Mrs. Tembo again from Kabwe, the one who was asking about the mm -hmm. gastritis. Yes. Yes, she's saying, uh, help me with the location of the shop. Where exactly in Kabwe and does the kawawasha work for gases? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, the kawawasha, I think it's a personal choice. It's not something that I would, I know it's worked for a number of different things. It's one of our indigenous fruits mm -hmm. that is working wonders. Okay, so you can take that that's nothing there's nothing wrong with you taking that so our cabo shop is located along lusaka road mm -hmm. okay at the stacy building okay okay so i will actually send your contact detail for a lady called leah who is actually our salesperson there in cabo okay all right, our viewers, you're still watching Dynalab, where we're discussing autoimmune diseases, and you're free to give us your text messages on 0960-610-197, 0960-610-197. Ask what you want to know about these autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. And now, as we are almost concluding, mm -hmm. uh, tell us your contacts, where yes. someone can maybe call you mm -hmm. and find you even your online handles yes okay so people can still continue getting in touch and texting on the same number mm -hmm. which I think you repeated I'm, I don't know if it's flashing on the screen which is zero nine six one um zero six, six one yes. zero one nine seven <laughs> exactly that same one <laughs> they can continue to interact on that one mm -hmm. um, then you can find us in different parts of the country mm -hmm. okay so we are in Livingston you can find us in Choma mm -hmm. we're in Monze you can find us along Lusaka Road, like I mentioned, in Kabwe. We are along President's Avenue, opposite Fire Prevention, that's mm -hmm. in Dola. You can also find us in Kitwe, Solwezi. We are in Mongu, mm -hmm. okay, as well as Chipata, Mansa, and Kasama. And of course, here in Lusaka, we have five beautiful outlets mm -hmm. um, that are there for you. We have two along Kafir Road at Downtown Shopping Center and Canelli Building, which is directly opposite downtown mm -hmm. then we have our head office at number 26 Joseph Mueller Road and then you can find us opposite the post office mm -hmm. at Limbe Mall as well as um, arcades mm -hmm. shopping center and the new open shop at Leonica Mall of course, um, try like and follow our Facebook page which is Dynalab Zambia mm -hmm. that is the same Twitter handle that we use as well Okay. Someone here says, what medicine is available for people with leg problem, old age, penning legs? Uh -huh. <laughs> old age is a problem. We're all getting there. She, she has one of the autoimmune diseases. Not necessarily, because... Um, an autoimmune disease, like we mentioned, maybe could be arthritis, but that sounds like it could just be inflammation because of old age. Okay. Okay. Not necessarily that it's an autoimmune uh, condition mm -hmm. or arthritis. Usually that is the 
cause but it could just be maybe she's lacking some calcium or mm -hmm. she has some inflammation of the bones so we do have actually uh, some goat's milk tablets which are high in calcium mm -hmm. and then we have the anti-inflammatories that she can take from Dynalab. Okay. All right. If she is within Lusaka, she can visit one of your uh, Yes, pets. if she's within Lusaka, please feel free. Or you can also access um, our products through our distributors mm -hmm. if you are in a town where there is no shop. Okay. But we're working very hard to make sure that we open a Dynalab shop in all the towns across the country. Okay. So they can also use this number? Yes, they can still continue getting information from this very number. Okay. All right. You can continue giving us your text messages and they will be replied to mm -hmm. so that you know how to go about it. Or if you want to uh, meet these offices for Dynalab, you can contact the same number and they can also direct you how to go. And also you can like their page, Dynalab Zambia, mm -hmm. so that you can get to know more about what you are suffering from or how you can prevent yourself from these kind of diseases. Mm -hmm. Well, I would love to thank you for coming to mm -hmm. Dynalab Zambia. Thank you very much. I hope um, the information we've given, I know the time is always limited, <laughs> so we try and squeeze in as much as possible. Uh -huh. But we always appreciate the viewers, everybody who's text and interacted mm -hmm. go to our Facebook page um, we have more information available there for you mm -hmm. okay get in touch with the same number and tell us what you would like us to discuss because this is your show at the end of the day okay mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much, viewers, for joining us on the Dynalab Zambia where we are discussing the autoimmune diseases. Get in touch and keep texting because I can see uh, some people are still texting. You will be replied to very soon. This has been Christabel Munga. Good afternoon. Remember always to wash your hands, social distancing, wear your mask. Remember always to sanitize.